Hi, it's Steve Maxwell here, also known as Mr. Fixit at blue.living.com, and I want to show you an up and coming technology that can offer you reliable backup power in small quantities, plus let you make use of the energy from the sun. In this video, I want to give you an overview of what are called solar generators. Now, I've got two here in front of me. One is a manufactured unit ready to use. Another is one I designed and built myself, and we're going to take a look inside uh, later on in the video. But essentially, solar generators are ways of capturing the sun's energy, storing it for later use or for portability, and then making use of that for charging phones, maybe operating a kettle, uh, a few lights, things like that. The first thing you have to understand is the name solar generator is a bit of a misnomer. Because essentially what these things are, are portable power supplies. So, like I said, there's a battery inside, it stores the energy. And in all cases, that energy is available in two different ways from the solar generator. Um, you can see here there are plug outlets, 120 volt plug outlets. And in this particular case, they can power anything up to 1000 watts. There's also direct current DC electricity available from the various USB ports here. And also this power port, the same sort of thing you'd find in a vehicle. So the battery, the energy of the battery kind of takes two forms. AC for plug-in items, DC for other things, and you can use one of these just on their own. You don't necessarily have to have a solar connection. Now, these can be recharged from a wall outlet, um, you can carry them around for camping and other things. Uh, we actually use this unit here to power my daughter's sound equipment when she goes street busking, singing in public and things like that. So portable power is one thing and that's well and truly useful. But what makes this really interesting, especially if you're dealing with a long-term power outage, is that you don't need to plug these things into a wall outlet in order to recharge them. They're called solar generators because the best of them actually are made to capture energy from the sun using a solar panel. Now, this unit here is the solar panel that came with this purchased unit that I was telling you about. It folds up. It's pretty handy, really. And um, you can open it up, angle it towards the sun, and it will start producing sizable amounts of power to recharge this unit. Now, in this case, a uh, plug like this just simply plugs in here. And if we were outside and in the sun, this, would, this panel here would be charging this unit at a rate of about 100 watts. So it takes a few hours to charge up completely from flat, but you can charge while you're using power at the same time. So it's pretty handy that way. One of the greatest uses for something like this is infinite, unlimited backup power in the event of a grid power outage, especially one that goes on for a long time. Because it gets its energy from the sun, or it can, then that means that you essentially have as much power as you need. You're never going to run out of fuel. These things are perfectly silent as well, so there's no disturbance that way. You can use this, as I said, for charging phones, anything up to about 1,000 watts. Now, if you like coffee or tea in the morning, you're going to want to get a bigger unit than this because most kettles take about 1,200, 1,300, 1,500 watts. So this particular unit can't power that, but that's just because it's small. There are bigger ones. There are some that are quite a bit bigger than this, although they're still portable. Now, as I mentioned before, you can buy a ready-made unit, ready-made solar generator, or you can build your own, and that's, uh, that's what I've got here. Just come over here and take a look. Uh, these are all purchased components that I got from various suppliers. Now, the same basic three components that are in here are also in here and starting with the battery. Now this is a, a lead acid battery from um, a forklift actually, and it provides the energy storage. But having energy in a battery form is only so useful. What we really need is AC current, alternating current, and that's what you see that it comes out this regular household outlet here. And 
a device called an inverter, which is what you see back here, takes the DC current and turns it into AC household current. Now there's one other component here too, it's called the charge controller. Uh, like the manufactured one, this shop built one can recharge with solar panels and in fact the solar panels connect here. But solar panels connected directly to a battery uh, are, are no good, that's going to overcharge the battery, it's going to damage the battery, so that's where the charge controller comes in. It regulates the amount of energy going to the battery so that the battery is not damaged. And that's essentially the three components, the, the battery, the inverter, and the charge controller. Uh, in my case here, I've also got a uh, charging port, so that's DC power right off the battery, and then uh, a vehicle style power port there as well. And then over here on the side, just to make things a little more interesting, I've got a light as well built right in. So. so just to recap, there's essentially three reasons why you might want to have a solar generator in your life. First of all, is portable power, easily portable. Second of all, unlimited backup power for the small things in your life, charging phones, laptops, maybe some small cooking appliances. And third, it lets you make use of the sun for some of your basic energy needs, which is kind of a nice exercise. There's a, an environmental benefit there. And it's probably the easiest way to bring solar energy into your life.